good morning students now we are going to discuss on arithmetic verbs in cobol programming language from unit 2 so as you people know we have some various verbs that to be used for some specific purposes in cobol programming language and this particular language which composed of various verbs and these various verbs which used to act like and reserve words and which is been used for some specific purposes alone and not for the other purposes so here in arithmetic data processing we have some various verbs and using those verbs we would be able to perform arithmetic computations so other than these arithmetic verbs we have some more verbs to perform computations um so we i am going to list out some various verbs related to arithmetic operations the first verb which is an add and second verb which is an subtract and third verb which is going to be multiply and fourth verb which is going to be divide so using these four different verbs we used to perform the arithmetic operations um so here first we are going to discuss on some three different arithmetic verbs and then we have some more verbs like compute verb for computations of uh, um, various operands or data names that you have in your cobol programming language so instead of using some separate arithmetic verbs you could mention the arithmetic operation using a single compute verb um so uh, first we are going to discuss an add verb and second one which is about subtract verb and the last one which is about uh, um multiply verb so these are the three different verbs that we are going to discuss now and then while using these verbs we have some various other uh, uh, reserved words like to and giving and we must know the exact differences of using those to and giving along with your arithmetic verbs uh, so now we are going to see these things in detail uh, so in the introduction part Uh, so for the problems uh, which requires some computations some arithmetic operations um, to be performed on the input and then uh, intermediate data which may be an numeric in nature uh, so for those purposes we used to use arithmetic verbs to perform arithmetic operations and then all these verbs which uh, could contain either an identifiers or numeric literals or sometimes uh, both we used to use so in case of identifiers uh, they must be an elementary numeric fields and uh, identifiers used after giving option uh, must be editor or unedited uh, numeric fields so now we are going to discuss on some of the arithmetic verbs now the first verb which is going to be add so this verb can be used to find the sum of two or more numbers and to store the results so to add the values and store the results we are going to use this add verb and then you have the general form of add verb as uh, um add literal 1 literal 2 to identifier 3 and identifier 4 uh, and then uh, you will have uh, uh, some more uh, general forms also as add literal 1 literal 2 comma literal 3 giving identifier 4 and comma identifier 5 uh, so you have two forms in uh, um, adverb one the first one using to and second one is using uh, giving option so these are the two general forms in uh, adverb and these are the example that we have related to adverb add capital a to capital b which means uh, we are going to store uh, or we are going to add the value of a to the value of b and then we are going to store the results in the value of b uh, suppose if the value of a which consists of 2 and value of b which consists of 3 we are going to add both these values and then we are going to store the result in value 5 or uh, in capital b and then the second example add a b c to d so we are going to add uh, the values of a b c and d and then the resultant value will be stored in uh, capital d and then third example add 30 uh, space a to b we are going to uh, add the values of 30 a and b and then we are going to store the results in capital b and then the last example using giving option add a comma b 
giving c so we are going to add the values of a comma b and then we are going to store the results in capital c so these are the examples that we have related to adverb the next one which is about subtract verb to subtract the value from uh, one data name with another data name we are using this subtract verb um, uh, so you have uh, um, more numbers from one or more numbers uh, to store the results so you have some uh, two uh, different options in subtract using um, uh, giving options so you have this is the general form related to subtract subtract um, uh, literal one literal two or identify three identify six giving identifier five and identify six this is going to be a general uh, form so you will have two uh, keywords over here using subtract verb uh, from and giving option so in the first example you have subtract a from b so the value of a will be subtracted from b and the results will be stored in b and then you second example you have subtract a comma b from c so the value of a and b will be added and it will be subtracted from c and the results will be stored in c and third example you have subtract a comma b from c giving d so the value of a and b will be added and that will be subtracted from c and then the result will be stored in d so uh, these are the various uh, forms of uh, subtract verbs are examples of subtract verbs that we have over here and then the finally which is about multiply verb which is about uh, multiplication of uh, one or more data names and storing its resultant value so you have one or more multiplicants uh, to be multiplied by a multiplier and this is a general form that we have so so you have to be very keen with uh, using the general form of uh, arithmetic verbs as how we have used so this is a general form that we have multiply by identifier 2 identifier 3 numeric literal one giving identifier 4 comma identifier 5 so this is going to be general form using giving option and in the first example which is about multiply uh, a by b so in this case the value of a uh, will be multiplied with value of b and then the resultant will be stored in b and then second option multiply a by b giving c we are going to multiply the value of a and b and we are going to store the results in uh, uh, C and the third option is about multiply A by B C D so we are going to multiply A and B and the result will be stored in B and we are going to multiply A and C and then the result will be stored in C and we are going to multiply A and D where the result will be stored in D so these are the some of the examples of uh, uh, multiply verb uh, so uh, students uh, whenever they are going to use arithmetic verbs you must be very clear as for what purpose that you're going to use arithmetic verb and then uh, you have some general forms and then you have to stick on to the general forms and usage of those uh, general forms so using those general forms only uh, you have to uh, code your content and then you have to work on some uh, many more examples whatever that you have related to arithmetic verbs so by keep on practicing you will uh, uh, get an, a clear idea of how to use those arithmetic verbs so basically we have some uh, uh, three uh, four different types of arithmetic verbs as add subtract multiply and divide here we have concentrated on the first three option alone so the divide option which seems to be similar to the third uh, third one a multiply verb so uh, there won't be much uh, more differences uh, in using divide verb and then to the final you have one verb named as a compute verb so compute verb it seems to be an important one uh, because the compute verb uh, which consists of an easiest uh, way of processing um, arithmetic uh, computations so using a single verb we will be able to perform addition subtraction multiplication and also division so students whenever uh, that you're going to work on uh, these uh, arithmetic verbs you have to be very clear with what are the general forms that you have to use and uh, you have to be uh, get practiced with some various examples of arithmetic verbs and then you will keep on practicing you will get an uh, easiest way of uh, uh, coding uh, platform so that you could use these uh, verbs in an efficient manner 
so with this i would like to uh, stop this session uh, so thank you students thank you for listening